Peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ. Uh, today, let us reflect on the gospel according to Luke, chapter 8, verses 1 to 3. Women accompanying Jesus. Soon afterwards, he went on through cities and villages, proclaiming and bringing the good news of the kingdom of God. The twelve were with him, as well as some women who had been cured of evil spirits and infirmities. Mary, called Magdalene, from whom seven demons had gone out, and Joanna, the wife of Herod's steward, Chusa, and Susanna, and many others provided for them out of their resources. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise be to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. So, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ, uh, when we look at today's gospel, uh, it seems like a, a very short gospel, just three, uh, three verses. But along with it, it carries so much. If we look at the very beginning, the word of God says that um, soon after he went on through cities and villages, um, proclaiming and bringing the good news of the kingdom of God. Now, Lord Jesus was preaching, teaching. Uh, we see that in the previous uh, chapters of Luke, he is choosing his uh, apostles. He is uh, going about uh, preaching the, the Beatitudes, the woes, healing countless people. And uh, now we see that the Lord he went on through cities and villages. So he did not choose to, uh, to, to be in one place alone because he was here to bring the good news to all. So whilst he was done preaching um, to people in one place, the Lord was always on the move. And so uh, we see here uh, wherein it begins with, he went on through cities and villages. And what was he doing? He was proclaiming and bringing the good news of the kingdom of God. And whilst he was proclaiming the good news, we see that the 12 that he has chosen, his apostles, they were with him, accompanying him. And along with, with them, uh, there were also some women. Now, initially, the gospel mentions that there, uh, there were some women. Now, who were these women? These were the ones who uh, were cured, uh, cured of evil spirits, the spirit of infirmities. So they were ba basically uh, some were having demonic uh, oppression, some were sick, they were diseased. We have a mention of Mary called Magdalene. She is Mary from Magdala. And uh, in her specific case, there is a mention that there were seven demons who had gone out of her. There is also a mention of Joanna. And uh, the gospel tells us that she was the wife of Herod's steward, Chusa. There was also Susanna. No more details are given about her and her other relationships with others. But we see something which is very beautiful here is that Luke is making a mention of the, the women disciples of Jesus. No doubt that when, when Jesus uh, began with his ministry, he chose the 12 apostles, the 12 uh, representing the 12 tribes of Israel. However, it did not mean that he limited himself, that only those were the ones who would journey with him. But we see here that along with them, the Lord had other disciples as well. And, and Luke, uh, St. Luke makes a mention of women, some women who were cured. And other than that, there were many others also. And these others also were the ones who provided for them out of their resources. Now, we, we see here that the Lord is is the creator of heaven and earth. 
and there can be nothing lacking for him. We know of the account when he needed to pay his tax. He just uh, got his, his share of the tax from the fish's mouth. So whatever he wanted, he could have very well made good of his powers to provide for himself. But the Lord was not working that way. He had his followers, he had his apostles, his disciples who were following with him. And he wanted to move along with the people. And as he was moving along with these people, the ones who had experienced the goodness of God, they, were, they out of their goodness, were providing for the Lord and his followers. The word of God tells us that for a person who is working in the kingdom of God, he deserves his, his wages. He deserves what is due to him. And we see here uh, Mary Magdalene who had um, the demons which were removed from her. The Lord delivered her from that. She was the one who was following with, uh, with the Lord, with the other women. Now this following was because of the goodness of God that she had experienced. We also have a mention of Joanna. And even at the time of the, the burial of Jesus after his death, we see in, in Luke chapter 20, uh, 23, 2355, the woman who had come with him from Galilee followed and they saw the tomb and how the body was laid. So the these women who were followers of Jesus, they followed through even at the point of his crucifixion when many of the male uh, disciples, his, his followers fled with only John being there at the cross, we see that the women disciples were, were there in, in, in their presence. Luke 24.10 tells us that uh, it was Mary Magdalene, the same Joanna, Mary, the mother of James, and other women with them um, had visited the tomb, and they had come to believe that the Lord had resurrected. So, my dear brothers and sisters, we, we understand from here that Whoever the Lord was merciful, out of the love that they received, out of gratitude, out of God's grace that they had experienced, they became followers. They became disciples. And not just disciples, but they also became providers. They became providers from their resources. Today, um, if I am with you in this session. I too have experienced God's goodness. I have experienced His love at a point in time wherein I was afflicted with the spirit of infirmity of cancer. Whilst I was in the pit of destruction, I have experienced God's goodness. And out of that experience of God's goodness, today, if I share the word of God with others, it is because of how good the Lord has been to me. Just as in, in Luke chapter 7, we see that the, uh, the Lord says, Who loves who? The one who has been forgiven of most, more death loves who. So when we come to the understanding of God's love through the experience that we have in our own lives, this experience allows us to be serving back with gratitude. Now this serving back with gratitude, is it just limited? Is it just limited to only prayer, praise and worship? No, it is not just limited to that. Let us understand that Luke 8, 3 says that these women and many others provided for them out of their resources. So we are only not just called to um, Take, take the gospel, do good deeds, but as those who have experienced God's goodness, as those who have been blessed immensely with God giving us all the resources that we possess, we are basically the stewards of the Lord. Let us be mindful that those who are serving in the vineyard of the Lord, those who have devoted 
their life. We have our religious, we have our priests, we have nuns, those who have committed their ways unto the Lord. Let us understand that just as these women, they provided out of their resources, let us be sensitive to provide for those who are working in the vineyard of the Lord. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Let us close with the thanksgiving prayer. Thank you, Jesus. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. God, our loving Father, we thank you, we praise you, we give you glory. Lord, today's gospel teaches us that the followers of, of Jesus were not just his chosen apostles, but there were so many disciples and among them were women. Women who had experienced God's goodness because they had been delivered out of spirits of infirmity from demonic oppression and others who had come to believe in the Lord. Lord, we see that out of their goodness, out of their generosity, they provided for the Lord and for his followers. Today, let us pray. Let us pray for all those who have been blessed immensely, who have been blessed with resources, that they understand that they are the stewards of those resources, that those resources are back again channelized where it is required, where the preaching of the word of God takes place. For the preachers are religious, are priests, who needs, whose needs needs to be met. Thank you, Jesus, that we don't only enjoy the benefits that we receive for ourselves, but we are moved with gratitude to, to share these resources to, our chil to other children of God. We make this prayer in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Praise God. Thank you, Thank Jesus. Jesus. Thank, Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Is now and ever now. Shall never shall be the world without an end. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. Thank you, my dear brothers and sisters, for joining today. Uh, we will meet again on Monday. Till then, have a blessed day. Thank you, Jesus. Praise Same God. to you, thank you sister. Thank you, Sister Sumitra. And thank you, everybody. God bless Same us all. Have a good day. Good day.